Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and this is the fifth episode of Death Battle. We're about to react to the fifth episode of Death Battle. As I said, it's Hagar versus Zangief. So I I only know Hagar because I heard he's uh he's in the new Capcom versus Marvel game. I saw him into that that scene where Spider-Man got the symbiote back and Zangief. I've only seen a couple Street Fighters, so I already know Zangief was part of Street Fighter. If you're hearing that sound, that's actually my dad watching the TV. He's watching the Young Justice series, but never mind. I'm going to go ahead and start playing this. This is only like seven minutes long, almost as much as the Goomba vs. Koopa one was. And, uh, let's just see w what their power is all about and all that kind of stuff. Hold on, let me turn the uh, ringtones off so that way the little noise for notification won't go off as I'm watching this. Alright, so let's see who we, so let's see what, they, what they're going to tell us, what their powers and stuff are. Right? So like John C. Triple H always say, your time is up, my time is now. It's time to play the game. Let's get into this in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Netflix. Go to www.netflix.com forward slash death battle for your free trial membership. Free trial membership. What's going on? Oh, making a video. Okay, hold on, let me grab my best stuff. Don't worry about that, my friends. <laughs> yeah, my mom's pretty busy a lot. But anyway, let's get back into it. Capcom has produced hundreds Capcom. of deadly warriors, but few can best these two hulking leviathans. Hagar, the mayor-elect of Whoopass, and Zangief, Russia's red cyclone. These two wrestlers have never met in person, but their rivalry is legendary. And it's about time they duped it out. I'm Wizard, and he's Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons. <laughs> like the wrestling. Until being elected mayor of Metro City, a metropolis overrun with street gangs. Too bad there are more badasses in office. Most mayors would just push laws against crime or increase the police force, but Mike takes matters into his own hands. Hagar is a former pro American wrestler specializing in grabs, holds, and quick strikes. Hmm. He's of Scottish ancestry and proud of it. Even having a Scottish, Scottish? on his chin, it's likely he has also trained in Scottish backhold wrestling, which involves bear hugging an opponent and keeping your balance while over. Wow. Got a devastating moveset ranging from suplexes, body splash, suplex. <laughs> Take you to Suplex City like Brock Lesnar. Even the score Hagar copied keeps spinning body splash. Hagar is an overpowering people with pure manliness. His weapon of choice. Oh, is that where you body splash is that like you just squish your opponent when he's laying down? Hagar continued his rigorous training. But pile driving sharks, it appears he's just fighting a woman. Wow. I would not want to mess with that kind of shark. Hagar's pretty good then. And he delivers the suplexes as well. Oh, he's a wrestler as well. Actually, I kind of knew that, but okay. Hmm. Atomic suplex, oh yeah. <laughs> Boomstick. Man, pile drivers, man, they're, they're in legal moves. Like, that was the band move that Brett the Hitman Heart used to use in WWE, but fortunately got banned because people been getting their necks broken when people been delivering it. Really? Up to 1,500 pounds. 
is often employed by the Russian president what? as the country's official fighting representative. <laughs> okay, what was that? <laughs> Sneaking up on the cut dog. Man, it just gets funny every now and then just hearing Boomstick's voice just trying to be talking, you know? I mean, Wiz and Boomstick make excellent uh, guys to talk about the weapons, powers, and everything. <laughs> Boomstick just cracks me up. And pause. Alright. So, for this death ba Oh. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I went too far. Actually, I went a little too far on that one. Hold on. Actually, I pressed the button. Sorry. My mistake, we pressed the button. Here we go. Somehow, I was trying to move the camera, and I actually pressed the little red circle thing that makes the videos go. But here we go. So for this battle, this is going to be pretty interesting. Two big monsters and all this stuff. Two wrestlers and all. Well, so I don't really know too much about them. Like I, say, I only know Zangi from Street Fighter, but I don't really exactly know him very well. That's just the only thing I know about Zangi. If it's just he's from Street Fighter. Hagar, I really do not even know anything about him other than I know he's another Capcom character and all that. But so comparing to these two, they are both pretty uniquely matched. They both deliver suplexes. They both have some body splashes. You can you saw that in their moves, but it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, you've seen Hagar deals with those sharks, and uh, and Zangief even dealt with the big giant bear and does pile drivers, which are pretty dangerous moves. As I said, they got banned from the WWE because they were so dangerous, you know. But anyway, so I saw that. Like I said, I did see that. Spinning power driver movie does. It's really crazy, man. So I'm just not sure who exactly would win in this one. I probably would have to say Zangi since I only know him better because he's in Street Fighter, and it looks like because of that power driver just might actually do the job. Since usually it's it's been able to break some in real life. It actually has broken a few people's necks and all that stuff because it's so dangerous. So probably with just that in mind, I'm just gonna have to say Zangi's gonna win this battle. But, so, let's just see if I'm right, but if Hagar wins, then, huh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> and let's get back into it, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, there's Zangief in his little intro cape. It's Hagar, just in a gentleman's suit. Using his muscles. Kind of sound like Wario, almost. There we go. Struggling. Get a better van. Ooh, drop kick. Oh! There's a suplex. Oh, wow. Oh, power driver. There was a th two suplexes and now a power driver. Oh, drop kick. <laughs> just the way you just switch him into the door. Uh oh, it looks like they're fighting his couch. With a peach! They're the big the cat! That, that, that dog thing from. Okay, that was weird. Peach, the big, the cat, and that dog thing. That was so weird. Oh, another suplex. Oh no, who's gonna land first? Who's gonna hit the? F who's gonna hit the ground first? Oh, Hagar trying to do the same thing. Both trying to struggle for control here. Who's gonna hit first? Who's gonna hit first? Who hit first? Oh, it's Hagar. I see the blood. Zangief wins, yep. I know you guys probably, I know you guys couldn't see that Hagar was dead on the left side, but when I'm watching it off the videos here, I could see. <laughs> oh, boomstick. Sure, Hagar can grapple a half ton 
shark without falling over, but Hazengi, if you push around 1,500-pound bears as a hobby, Hagar didn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. He definitely put up a great fight, though. That he did. He just yep. found his window of opportunity. The window <laughs> Alright, good job, Zangy. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, Battle Royale. So, um, so that means it's gonna be all four turtles in a Battle Royale. It's gonna be Leonardo versus Raphael versus Donatello versus Michelangelo. Okay. I've actually always wanted to see which Ninja Turtles uh, the best one. But that'll have to wait till next time, so... That'll be it for today, you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike, give it a thumbs down. If you uh, have a video you want, have a video you want me to react to, or just send, leave it in the comments or send me a question. I'll see what I can do about it. Sorry. Until then, this was a great battle. Until then, this is Joe Flash signing off. Have a good day. Catch you later.